In a matter of hours, millions of Greeks will head to the ballot box for one of the most crucial votes in the country's modern history. The referendum on an international bailout could redefine Greece's place in Europe. Polls suggest the nation is split and many are undecided. Our Jeff Semple is in Athens with more. Jeff. Andrew, the last public opinion poll suggests about 10% of Greeks are still undecided. They've got just hours left to make up their minds. After months of Greece and its European creditors trying to tango to the same tune, it's finally decision day. No official campaigning allowed today on the eve of the vote, but the debate rages on in coffee shops and restaurants. So I'm going to vote yes because I have to shout that I would like to find our people and European Union find a solution. If we vote yes, we vote yes to an agreement for 100 years austerity measures and we also the sovereign of our country. That's why we say no to everything. But regardless of whether they're planning to vote nay or ohi, yes or no, many Greeks admit they're still not sure exactly what they're voting for. It's uh, complicated. Nicholas Boydanis says he's Just, done his homework. Uh, he's read the referendum question, all 73 words of it, and the two documents it refers to, dozens of pages thick. But Boydanis is at a loss. Some European leaders have said voting no to austerity is voting to leave the Eurozone. But at last night's anti-austerity rally, the Greek Prime Minister told the crowd the European leaders were bluffing. Today, his finance minister accused Greece's creditors of terrorism, frightening Greeks into voting yes. Ads like these are also spreading fear, playing on Greeks' oligarch-owned private TV stations. This ad asks if there will be gasoline, medicine, or pensions. No, it answers, if you vote no to austerity. It all adds up to a lot of Greeks heading into tomorrow feeling confused about the vote and afraid of its consequences. Many say they don't want more austerity, but do want to remain in the Eurozone. Whether they believe they can actually have both may be the ultimate deciding factor. Andrew? All right, thanks, Jeff. Jeff Semple in Athens.